His trademark? Red carnations. He later turned to acting. Then he went overseas for international recognition and had no idea that one day he would become the star maker. Right now he's in the middle of an interview with Molly Meldrum for what he thinks is a documentary on Australian music. But we've set the whole thing up for our surprise. So, let's go get him. <laughs> well, uh, with, with you, Jack, with, uh, with Mark and with Vanessa, I mean, how did this successful partnership evolve? It was quite weird, actually, Molly, because um, a guy fixing my fax machine told me about Vanessa singing in a local restaurant. I caught up with Mark, who I hadn't seen for many years, and uh, we went along and saw Vanessa and uh, decided she was awesome and signed her up. I mean, one does forget that, 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 that basically Germany is the, third, is the second biggest uh, selling record selling thing in the world, you know? Yes, just don't mention the war, that's all. Don't mention the war? <laughs> no, you don't mention the war. But you must be delighted. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's fantastic. Fantastic. So, um, what next? What next for Vanessa? Vanessa? What next, next for Vanessa? I don't know, Jack. <laughs> Jack, what next more, for Vanessa? More overseas touring and more hits, hopefully. <laughs> Mark. G'day. Yeah? Yeah, Mark, Michael Munro's my name. Eh? Yes, I know who you are. How are you? <laughs> Mark Holden? This is your life. This is Jack Strong's work, I know it. <laughs> Thank you. Did you know about this? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you noticed that I didn't complain or wince? <laughs> I'm glad you got your Baywatch uh, jacket on the whole bit. Yeah, because it works to uh, it works for my, for my neckline. <laughs> I have the same problem. Yeah, I, I can see, actually. I've got about eight chins. <laughs> Call this number now to bring back the laughter and tears generated by this remarkable series by ordering one of the two magnificent volumes of This Is Your Life, True Stories of Great Australians. You can also purchase a video of your favourite This Is Your Life episode from the past five years. Call this number now to receive your order in time for Christmas and relive these classic moments from This Is Your Life. Good evening. A committal hearing into murder charges against Bradley John Holland got underway at Bathurst Local Court today. The magistrate told he stabbed his former jail inmate at Turandale last year following an argument. Former Mudgee woman Debbie Dixon Fuller has been killed in what police describe as a murder-suicide in Sydney. Creditors of Forbes Modular Building Technologies have been informed the company could be forced to close its doors unless contractor Teese pays the $1 million MBT claims it is owing. During a tour of drought-affected areas, the Prime Minister has stated responsibility for assistance should be under the control of one tier of government. And in sporting news, top-class cricketing action in Wellington, with several Blues players taking a bat and ball in the NRMA Country Cup. I'll have full details of these stories in Wind News Late Edition, coming up at 11.30. Uh, Houston, we're in position up here. Uh, whoa! Right. Clearly we have to go forwards again. Yeah, all right, Pete. Except I still say the fishing hole's back this way. New Land Cruiser 100. Now with earth-moving V8 power. It's the most powerful Land Cruiser ever. Now you can get a Nokia Mobile with the great coverage of Telstra Mobile CDMA. Purchase the new Nokia 6385 when you join and go into the draw to win a Ford Escape. Visit your Telstra shop, Telstra mobile net dealer or call 125 111 and get more. Casey Chambers, not pretty enough. Now the new single, If I Were You. The Aria album of the year, Barricades and Brick Walls. Also available, the new DVD.
Hurry into Mitre 10 for the huge Tool Bonanza Christmas sale on now. Quality metalless products at sensational prices like this P-handle hand truck, $29. 16-piece technician toolkit, $24.95. 12-piece router bit set, $29.95. 16-piece metric combination spanner set, $12. 4-way wheel brace, $3.95. Heavy-duty snap-off trimming knife, $2. 3-piece plier set, $6. And this multifunctional bench and vice, $29.95. 10 out of 10 products at 10 out of 10 prices. Available now at your local Mitre 10 store. Tippy, what are you doing? I'm gonna milk the cat's cow. But that's a bull. What the? <laughs> milk Star FM's cash cow, and for every dollar you win, we'll donate the same amount to the farmhand appeal. You win, local farmers win. On Star FM. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Holden. Mark Ronald Holden. You are born on the 27th of April 1954 in Adelaide. You're the youngest of three to Helen and Ron. Your father is an architect, your mum is a teacher. And some of your earliest memories are of music constantly filling the family home because your mum is a pianist. Climb every mountain. It's your mum Helen, brother Craig and sister Jenny. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Hello, Mother dear. You look fantastic. <laughs> you look pretty good yourself. He looks like Dad. <laughs> How does he? <laughs> Mrs Holden, uh, obviously, the Sound of Music was a popular tune in the house. Well, his father, Ron, had a wonderful voice <clears throat> and he used to sing Climb Every Mountain. <laughs> but when it was Sunday morning, when the boys were trying to sleep in, they weren't at all impressed. <laughs> <laughs> He'd wake them up? Absolutely. <laughs> it was actually more like Sunday evenings after the uh, barbecue that went all day and a few drinks, I think, was really when we all started singing. <laughs> and of course, Craig, uh, Mark also showed early promise as an actor, didn't he? Oh, absolutely. I think it was, uh, uh, it was about five in a local production at uh, Sleeping Beauty, and he was obviously the prince, that's right. <laughs> and and uh, when the bit came for him to kiss the princess, well, to wake her up, well, he refused to do it. That was the end of his acting career. I think he said yuck. <laughs> well, the young well, she did. <laughs> The young doctors was the end of my acting career, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jenny, as a, as a young boy, not too keen uh, about household chores? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, as teenagers, we had to do the dishes. I was, we'd take turns doing the dishes. And uh, Mark would always disappear and he'd be found playing the guitar in the bathroom. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> oh, Mark, academically, you're a very bright student, but it's in sport you really excel, particularly as a state basketball player. Then at 13, you're given your first guitar, and there is no turning back. Music now becomes an all-consuming passion. Remember Bumblebee? David Jarman. Correct. It's your, it's your music teacher from school, David Jarman. <laughs> David, tell us, tell us the story about Bumblebee. Well, Bumblebee was one of the very early songs that Mark wrote. And he came one day to me and he said, look, I'd like to do it, you to do an arrangement of a backing Smithson School concert band. And we performed it in public and it went really well. David, you know, so many, uh, uh, it's like nowadays, there's so many schools that, you know, particularly church schools that, that get, uh, you know, that have problems and are being in the, in the, in the press for all the wrong reasons. And, and good old Noddy here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole nation knows the nickname. Old Noddy. <laughs> Noddy and, and Westminster was fantastic for me. They, uh, it was really a great time in my life. And, and Mr. Jarman was, uh, you know, really encouraging with music. And he has been, there's been so many orchestras and school orchestras that have come after you're a, you're a really fabulous bloke, David. Oh, thank you. And, and, I, and I, I think uh, David also brought the guitar along, uh, Mark, to ask you to sing us a few bars of Bumblebee. Oh, God, Would are you, you kidding? I couldn't remember it. I wouldn't I have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> no? I don't remember the last song I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead serious. I don't. I, I couldn't. I couldn't. 
I, I don't remember it, David. Do you remember it? Bumblebee. That was <laughs> okay. the first one. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, David. Westminster, Thanks, David. Westminster's very proud of your achievements. And I'm very proud of Westminster. Thank you. Good on you. Thanks. Mark, at 17, you and brother Craig begin performing folk songs at the local pancake restaurant. Yes. The pay was pretty lousy, wasn't it? Pancakes. <laughs> yeah, no was cash? Good. No cash. I was thrilled. I've always, I've always wanted to play with my brother and he's, he's you know, he's, he's performing music with him is, has always been uh, something that I've loved to do and that was one of the few times we really got to do it, wasn't it? Well, indeed. He went off on his own and formed a band that became the Keystone Angels and then the Angels and, and uh, he went off in his own way and as a little brother I followed. Right. That same year you leave school and enrol in law at Adelaide University. Mm. But stardom is certainly looming on the horizon. And after the break, Mark Holden well and truly becomes that pop star. Reach out for the one who loves you. Take a hold of the man who cares. Ooh, later, I'm the one who loves you. Look around, I'm always there. Survivor tonight is full of surprises. This is all crazy. With two stunning dismissals. I don't know who I can trust. Over two all new episodes. The tribe is spoken. Back to back. Survivor Thailand. Tonight, 9.30 on Win. Hyundai Elantra. Big 1.8. Well, yes. I want air. CD everything. Lift back. Or sedan. For 19990 drive away. Yeah. You pay all on road costs. You've talked us into it, mate. The Hyundai Elantra range. So good, they sell themselves. Announcing Clark Rubber's Bouncy Foam. Comfy mattresses, sofa beds, futons. Soothing pillows. Rubbery. <laughs> so many mats. Oh. Lots of flooring. Relaxing outdoor furniture. Get off your couch. Get on your bike. Take the family to Clark Rubber to make it, fix it, build it. Be a hero. Be a sport. Be a star. Get alive. Get into Clark Rubber now. Clark Rubber. More than foam and rubber. If you're looking to match the decor in your home, now's the time with our Spring Bonanza. It's the Carpet Choice 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 Spring Bonanza with this fabulous mini to be won when you buy a carpet from our quality Stainmaster 2 with repel range. On now, but hurry, end soon. His name is Henry, play Henry. He's a fireman and a Jared fan from Subway. He got real big on burgers and fries. Now he's down to a smaller size. Gets his might from his veggie delight. Great taste each day from his local Subway. He's, he's Henry, play Henry. With the help of exercise and the great taste of Subway's six sandwiches with just six grams of fat or less, people like Clay Henry are inspirations for everyone to follow. Subway, eat fresh. Only day before Christmas, what am I to buy? Don't panic, there's Fantastic Furniture's Christmas gift ideas. CD racks from just $9.95, cushions from only $5, gas lift office chairs just $49. Hurry in now to Fantastic Furniture. Attention New South Wales, Toyota dealers must meet 2002 sales targets. So this Friday and Saturday, we're offering a five-year Toyota extra care warranty on all new and demonstrator vehicles. But it must end Saturday. All of a sudden, we got hit by a big wave on the back of the boat. I was thrown overboard. Then I've realised I've still got a torch in my hand. New Ever Ready Dolphin, now with a handy work stand. My dolphin saved my life. When news breaks, Wind Television brings you a comprehensive coverage of the day's events affecting you. Twice nightly, Jeff Phillips presents a full half hour of local news. 6 o'clock, Wind News. 11.30, Wind News Late Edition, weeknights. Welcome back.
back to the life and times of former pop idol Mark Holden. Mark, it's 1973, you're 19, and the occasional singing gig begins to take over your law studies. You're now so determined to make it in the world of music, you decide to pursue a solo career. You audition for and land a spot on a television variety show. And it's that appearance those in the music industry really notice. I wanted to make him a star, but he wouldn't believe me. John Brommel. It's your music publisher, John yeah. Brommel. <laughs> John, how did you make him believe you, you could make him a star? Well, I knew he was be uh, destined for better things, so I got on a, an aeroplane, flew to Adelaide, knocked on his door. We ended you up, did too. We went down the cafe, didn't oh, we? Yeah. And then um, I took you back to Sydney. Um, put me up in your place. Yeah, you stayed at my place. Yep. Got you a deal with EMI. Yep. And uh, Peter Dawkins was there. And I, I, ma I made a deal with him. I said, uh, if you get me a record deal, you can have my publishing. That's dead right. And, and I, it was well done. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And Darren, I never regretted that deal. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks very much, John. <laughs> thank you. Put on your John. <laughs> So you soon snapped up by EMI for a record deal. And with only one year of your law degree to go, you drop out of university. But your first album, Dawn in Darkness, doesn't sell that Total well, stiff. does it? Yeah, absolutely. It was big in Armadale, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's huge there. I think it sold five. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed, but by no means daunted, you and record executives decide to change tactics. They dress you in a new three-piece suit and launch you as a clean-cut pop star who even the mums find hard to resist. <laughs> and it works. It's not long before you're offered a hosting job on the children's show, Target. Target, yeah. Target! Action Target, because we've got lots of action stories on tonight, because we've got uh, canoes and, and camels and motorbikes and surfing. Target! <laughs> You are now fast becoming the man of the moment. You have your own national radio program, a starring role on stage in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, great. and another in Sleeping Beauty on Ice. But then, at only 22, you are catapulted to fame when you release the top 10 smash hit, Never Gonna Fall In Love yeah. Again. Never gonna fall in love. You are now well and truly on your way as fans go wild for the new kid on the block. And after the break, Mark Holden creates more hysteria with red carnations. <laughs> Every now and then, looking for falling star. This number now to bring back the laughter and tears generated by this remarkable series by ordering one of the two magnificent volumes of This Is Your Life, True Stories of Great Australians. You can also purchase a video of your favourite This Is Your Life episode from the past five years. Call this number now to receive your order in time for Christmas and relive these classic moments from This Is Your Life.
Good evening for the Central West Slopes and Plains. Plenty of sun tomorrow and very warm to hot on moderate north to northwesterly winds. Looking ahead, more of the same dry and very warm to hot right through to uh, Monday, a top of 34 in parks tomorrow. For the Central Tablelands, a few scattered showers and storms more to the east. It'll be warm on light northeast to northwesterly. So looking ahead, scattered showers on Saturday and a top of 31 tomorrow. What a town we live in. And what tremendous deals we have at Orange Toyota during Toyota's factory back three day sale. It's Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Buy now and you'll not only get a great deal, but also a five year, 100,000 kilometre warranty. And go into the Oranges Quiz draw to win $5,000 for Christmas. It's Thursday, Friday and Saturday, only at Orange Toyota. Orange Toyota, driving the Central West. What a town. Look at us now. Ho, 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 take a look at us. Christmas at Franklin's. Christmas is very special at Franklin's with jolly good savings like two litre refrigerated daily juice fruit juice varieties, $3.79, save 88 cents. Ho, ho, ho. 85 gram Paramount tuna varieties, 95 cents, save from 22 cents. Ho, ho, ho. And nine pack Kleenex toilet tissue varieties, $4.79, save $2. Ho, ho. Franklin's for the cheer. Home improvements are made easy with these local businesses. For service advice and the top names in bedroom furniture like Sleepmaker and Sealy, see the experts at Captain Snooze, Australia's biggest bedding and bedroom chain. Drop in and say hi to Beth in our Bathurst store. She has all the answers you need for designing the perfect bedroom setting. Captain Snooze on the corner of Sydney Road and Boyd Street, Kelso. Create the perfect touch with curtains and coordinates from Spectrum Homemaker Products. For beauty, warmth and insulation, the decorating choices are endless with Spectrum's beautiful fabric collection. Have your window treatments and soft furnishings created especially for you at Spectrum Homemaker Products. Corporation Avenue Bathurst and Molong Road Orange. Home improvements, the right advice and products from these leading businesses. Due to the fantastic response we had last time, we are doing it again. Harvey Norman's massive three-day floor stock clearance. This Thursday, Friday and Saturday only at your local Harvey Norman store. Floor stock will be reduced. Outgo lounges, dining suites, wall units, bedding and bedroom furniture, TVs, videos, stereos, fridges, freezers, rugs, computers and lots more. Save, save, save. Three big days only. And only at these Harvey Norman stores this Thursday, Friday and Saturday. You can't afford to miss it. Attention New South Wales, Toyota dealers must meet 2002 sales targets. So this Friday and Saturday we're offering a five-year Toyota extra care warranty on all new and demonstrator vehicles. But it must end Saturday. These cute little guys are marmosets. Called the common marmoset, it's a sad fact that they're now not so common. Through habitat destruction and the illegal pet trade, they are now critically endangered. Fortunately for them, the National Zoo and Aquarium is dedicated to the breeding of endangered species from around the world. Your support for our endangered species breeding program means that we can help ensure that they don't disappear from our planet forever. Welcome back as we celebrate the life of former 70s pop icon Mark Holden. Your popularity is still soaring when you appear on the hugely popular show Countdown and you perform what will become your second smash hit, I Want to Make You My Lady. <laughs> At least you know it was live. Oh, yeah, and brings new <laughs> meaning to crowd surfing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> T tell us the idea behind the Red Carnations. How did that all start? Um, it, it happened, uh, I, I don't know whether you've got this person back here, but my manager at the time, a guy called uh, Peter Throffel, actually came up with that look and, and, and that idea. And, and one day uh, we were on the way to, from Sydney to Countdown, and um, we just thought, well, how can I basically suck up to the girls? And um, we thought, well, what do you do? You give a girl a flower. And red was a nice colour for television, and uh, we got red carnations, and I handed out them out to the girls before 
you know, in rehearsal before the show, thinking that, you know, that I'd be sucking up to them. You know? <laughs> and then, then when the show started, they actually started throwing them back to me. And, and that's really how it started, and it never really stopped after that, actually. From that moment, your famous carnation trademark is born. And Countdown's Molly Meldrum joins us now, along nah. with two other 70s pop stars, Ross Ryan and ah. Red Simons. Ah. <laughs> Good on you, Molly. Oh, it's fantastic. Good on you, Ross. Did I let you in the room all that? <laughs> <laughs> Molly, if I could start with you, the, the red carnations for Mark were very important to his career at the time, weren't they? They certainly were, and I mean, uh, it shocked us all the countdown, and it really worked. I always remember uh, the executive producer, our boss, Michael Shrimpton, who was... Uh, great bloke. Had, ..had a great choice of words, and I walked back into the green room after Mark had performed, and he looked at me and said, ''So what have you found now, Meldrum? A pop-singing Dame Edna, I assume.'' <laughs> But no, Mark was great. You know, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> that was. You know, uh, when we've done some interviews with uh, Vanessa over the last couple of years, yeah. I've noticed that there have been red carnations in your house when I've been there, and, and you never ever mentioned a word of it. You never said anything. Well, I just tried it, you know. And no one ever said anything, but I noticed it, Molly. You're That's a nice. Good, you're <laughs> a lovely bloke, Actually, really. Mark, um, also, um, when we started our record label, Melodian, um, and we launched Joe Beth Taylor, and this is probably not known, Mark co wrote um, Joe Beth's first hit song for us, 99, 99 Reasons. 99 Reasons. Yeah. yeah. Well, well. So we go back a fair way. Yeah. Yeah. And I love the carnations, you <laughs> yeah. know. Turned up at my house in the Hollywood Hills one day, completely unexpected. Do you remember that? Absolutely. In the early 80s? I don't know whether you were blind drunk or no, what. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, never. Oh, oh, please. Please. No, no, of nothing course. ever passed my lips. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Ross, of course, Mark normally always got the girl. But you have a lovely story about well, the yes, one so time he didn't. Yes, we were at a, um, this was from about 76 when Mark was peaking. <laughs> and he was in and his, and his Greek godlike state. <laughs> and we were at this party, this show business type party, and there was this girl there that was just drop dead gorgeous. And we both really fancied her. And Mark and myself, unlike some of our contemporaries, were kind of saving ourselves for the right person. <laughs> and we both fancied lie, this lie, girl. pants on fire. <laughs> so, anyway, as it turned out, this girl asked me, to take her home. And Mark was kind of going, what is this? <laughs> and we're sort of dr driving away. And I've never told you this. We're driving away, and I suddenly realised that she thought I was Ross Wilson. I pulled over to the side of the road, I parked, and I looked at her and said, now listen. <laughs> and then I told her how I wrote Eagle Rock. <laughs> Fantastic. Red, you go back a long way, don't you, with Mark? I've actually got a bit of a confession to make. Uh, there was one particular um, episode of Countdown that uh, our band was on and, and you were on and some other people and uh, our roadies got to your carnations in the dressing room and uh, <laughs> cut them all up because, yeah, because our roadies took the attitude... I'm sorry, I have to say this, Molly. Uh, they thought you were a bit puffy. <laughs> Well, that was just the first time I, I, I really sort of hung out with Red was at Clifford Hawking's place, right. remember? And, and, and I think I drank you under the table that night and I thought, OK, I can hang with him. <laughs> <laughs> I think I made a mess. <laughs> yes, I think you did. Guys, thanks for coming in. Uh, appreciate it. <laughs> Good on you, Redmond. <laughs> Mark, while the hits continue to roll in, you now turn to acting in the soapy The Young Doctors. And as the handsome and intelligent Dr Greg Mason, yes. you set teenage pulses racing all over again. I hear you've been in America. I bet the girls are more attractive there. Well, attractive is being beautiful, but it's also being in the right place at the right time. <laughs> that man needs help. He needs help now. Doctor, that man is badly hurt. You've got to do something now. Just let her go. Please make it go. <laughs> Does somebody mind explaining what's going on? It's not what you think. Not is allergic to anything. Allergic? Oh, you know. Morphine, penicillin, anything like that. I don't know. 
Go through his pockets. Can't you give him a shot or something? Are you a doctor? No, but... Then I suggest you be quiet and let me handle this my way. Breathe in. Out. In. That's it. Out. Uh-huh. Heart's beating a little faster, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. Wouldn't you say so, Ness? Oh, I'm sure it's not, Doctor. It's been really nice. I didn't expect tonight to be this way. How do you mean? One for the road. Do you wonder why my acting career never took off? <laughs> <laughs> well, while you're heating up those television screens oh, on the young dear. doctors, newspapers discover oh. you have a two-year-old son oh, yes. from a previous okay. relationship. Now, was that very tough at the time? It must have been. Oh, it's been tough uh, for a long time, really, because uh, I was uh, gone and then I went to America and, and uh, you know, we, I was a Disney dad, you know. I was a few weeks a year when I'd come back to Australia or when he came to America and until he was a, an older guy it was difficult. Well your son Kane is now 27. He is. And we've flown him in from oh Japan just for tonight. <laughs> Some of that was actually documentary footage on the young dog. Does that seem <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, was he was he really a Disney dad, or was he better than that? Oh, being Mark Holden's son, unbelievable. Just <laughs> like being anyone else's son, really. <laughs> <laughs> Except uh, occasionally, every 27 years, you get flown over from Japan and you get to go on national television. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and you get pull pulled away from those Osaka girls. Oh, no. <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible. But, but uh, a few embarrassing moments? Um, no, not usually. It's uh, He's not my generation's... Ricky Martin, you know what I mean? Like, he's, kind of like, uh, he's my parents' generation's Ricky Martin, so like, whenever I go around to my friends' houses, it's like, oh, you're Mark Holden, son, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it didn't assist me. Oh, no, it did. of course it did. Oh, of course it, it, helped you, it helped you in America. That's right. It helped you in America. When he came to America, he lived with uh, my wife and I for... How long did you last? I don't know, about two years, about a year <laughs> and a half or something. Yeah. And uh, at that point, he worked at uh, A&M Studios, which was... Uh, uh, you know the Charlie Chaplin lot, and, and then you had you had to be Mark Holden at that time because of. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, 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 let's not, go, let's right? not go any further on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, thanks for flying in for the night show. Thank you great to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. After the break, Mark Holden leaves our shores for Hollywood and international success. What do you go for? Go see a show for. Tell the truth, you go to see those beautiful days. You spend your dough for. Go crazy, go for those cute and cunning, young and beautiful days. Survivor tonight is full of surprises. Go crazy. With two stunning dismissals. I don't know who I can trust. Over two all new episodes. The tribe is spoken. Back to back. Survivor Thailand. Tonight, 9.30 on Win. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Are you here to be a passenger? Or a driver? Do you control technology? Or does technology control you? VVTI engine, sports tuned suspension, aerodynamic performance. The all new Camry Sportivo is here. The more you see, the more you want. Home improvements are made easy with these local businesses. For service advice and the top names in bedroom furniture like Sleepmaker and Sealy, see the experts at Captain Snooze, Australia's biggest bedding and bedroom chain. Drop in and say hi to Beth in our Bathurst store. She has all the answers you need for designing the perfect bedroom setting. 
Captain Snooze on the corner of Sydney Road and Boyd Street, Kelso. Create the perfect touch with curtains and coordinates from Spectrum Homemaker Products. For beauty, warmth and insulation, the decorating choices are endless with Spectrum's beautiful fabric collection. Have your window treatments and soft furnishings created especially for you at Spectrum Homemaker Products. Corporation Avenue, Bathurst and Molong Road, Orange. Home improvements, the right advice and products from these leading businesses. Due to the fantastic response we had last time, we are doing it again. Harvey Norman's massive three-day floor stock clearance. This Thursday, Friday and Saturday only at your local Harvey Norman store. Floor stock will be reduced. Outgo lounges, dining suites, wall units, bedding and bedroom furniture, TVs, videos, stereos, fridges, freezers, rugs, computers and lots more. Save, save, save. Three big days only. And only at these Harvey Norman stores this Thursday, Friday and Saturday. You can't afford to miss it. Celebrate to Quino's 50th anniversary at this year's Wine Fair, where you'll find over 20 wine companies represented. Entry is free, and there are over 200 wines to taste. Special deals, magnums and other giveaways will be available throughout the weekend. Plus, there'll be a jumping castle, face painting and a live band. Bring the whole family for a great day of entertainment at to Quino's Wine Fair. Weekend of November 30 and December 1, Bathurst Road, Orange. The Rocker, now also available in new, easy to swallow tablets. Friday on Burks. This week, Scotty and Don, we're going to some street somewhere in Australia to fix it all up. Plus, putting together the cutest cubby ever and Lovebirds Marty and Jess. Burke's Backyard Special Time, 8 30 Friday. Welcome back as we pay tribute to musician and actor Mark Holden. Mark, by 1977, you've won two Logie Awards for Best New Talent and Most Popular Teenage Personality. So it's no surprise when you're offered a lead role in the film Blue Fire Lady. Mm -hmm. Hey, have you heard from your father lately? No. He never answers my letters. You miss him a lot, don't you? Anytime I can help, Jen. Thanks, I know. <laughs> this is then followed with a part in the classic Australian movie Newsfront. Both movies are featured at the Cannes Film Festival and you're there to promote them. You then meet with record company executives in the United States who like what they see. Before you know it, you've signed up to star <laughs> alongside legends like Bette Davis and Fred Astaire. Your first American album flops, so you begin to focus on songwriting yes. to make ends meet. And almost immediately, you start writing chart-topping hits for acts like Belinda Carlisle yes. and The Temptations. Must have been a special moment. It was the fantastic. Temptations. The Temptations in particular was, was uh, one of the great, great moments of my life, being in the room with The Temps and, and them recording one of my songs. And then and at one point, actually, the whole group stood around and sang the background and wanted me to sing the lead to show Ollie, who was a singer, the, the lead vocal. And having The Temps sing background, you know, sing the song, my song, and me sing with them, that was just bliss. And also, that particular song, I got to play to dear old Ron before he, before he died. And um, we had a hot mum and, and Ron and I had a, uh, had a holiday in Hawaii just before he died. And, and I, that song had been recorded, it hadn't been a hit yet, but, um, but my dear old dad who, you know, loved Ella Fitzgerald and loved, uh, loved the great singers, Louis Armstrong and, and those sort of people, it was really, I think it was really a special moment for us. Yeah. For him to hear that song. My lady soul, you are my, 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 my lady soul. You are my life. You make me whole. You are my, my, my.
1983, you again tried to reignite your singing career mm -hmm. and release a self-titled album. And it's now Australian audiences see a very grown-up Mark Holden. That one worked in Newcastle. <laughs> Not in Armadale? <laughs> no. no. It's also now you meet the woman who will make your life complete. And here's your beautiful American wife, Anna, yes. along with six-year-old Katie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay. Anna, how face? did you guys meet? Well, we were at a party, and uh, this guy came and sat down next to me and asked me who I was there with. And I looked around to find the guy that I was there with, and he was nowhere to be found. And uh, Mark said to me, "If I were with you, I wouldn't leave you alone." And that was 20 years Great ago. Great line, wasn't it? Was it? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> and your reaction to that line? You made me it remember worked. your phone number and you wouldn't let me write it down. That's what you did. I had to remember I had to remember her phone number. And my memory's not very good as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and how soon did you ring? Next morning. Next morning. Huh? Whoa. <laughs> and Katie, can you tell us a little about a bit about Dad? What's he like? I think he's great and I love him very much. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't rehearse that, did you, Buggy? No rehearsals at all. <laughs> what sort of things do you do with Dad? What sort of fun things do you like doing with him? Playing the piano. Yeah. Really? Just like Nan? Mm. Wow, it runs in the family. How huh? the third generation? Yeah. yeah. She's the love of my life, this little girl. I bet. Isn't she fine? She is. We just adore this little girl. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Anna, please take a seat with, with Mark. <laughs> Over the next 13 years, you help write and produce songs for some of Hollywood's biggest recording stars including actor David Hasselhoff and actress model Mila Jovovich, mm -hmm. who sends this. Oh, you're kidding. What's up, Mark? Oh, you're kidding. How's it going? Oh, man, it's been too many years. It's been a long time. And it's quite scary for me that I'm doing this for you because it's reminding me of how long it's passed by <laughs> since I saw you last. Wow. But I'm so happy uh, to be talking to you via <laughs> cameras and equipment. But I got to say, you're such an amazing guy, and I'm so happy that I get a chance to tell you how much you mean to me, how much, you know, you've inspired me, how much of an impact you've had on my creative life. And, you know, I hope when you see this program, you're as happy to, to watch it as I am to do this for you. Oh, so, great. Lots of love and lots of kisses. Call this number now to bring back the laughter and tears generated by this remarkable series by ordering one of the two magnificent volumes of This Is Your Life, True Stories of Great Australians. You can also purchase a video of your favourite This Is Your Life episode from the past five years. Call this number now to receive your order in time for Christmas and relive these classic moments from This Is Your Life. 2 nil up. Australia has one hand on the ashes. England has one foot in the grave. Now the series heads to Perth where the pace men rule. And the English have one last chance to stay alive. The third test begins live and exclusive to win Friday. Holden, end of year value. New limited edition Jackaroo Nullabore. $6,000 extra value. Auto, alloys, air and more. This is it! Broad Spectrum C and Ski blocks out UVA and B rays, giving your family overall protection. Water resistant for up to four hours. C and Ski block out the sun. So 
celebrate Subaru's 30th anniversary in Australia with free on-road costs on Subaru Liberty GX RX and Heritage sedans and wagons. That's free registration, free dealer delivery and free stamp duty. But the offer must end soon. Hurry to your Subaru dealer today. Celebrate Aquino's 50th anniversary at this year's Wine Fair, where you'll find over 20 wine companies represented. Entry is free, and there are over 200 wines to taste. Special deals, magnums and other giveaways will be available throughout the weekend. Plus, there'll be a jumping castle, face painting and a live band. Bring the whole family for a great day of entertainment at Aquino's Wine Fair. Weekend of November 30 and December 1, Bathurst Road, Orange. Due to the fantastic response we had last time, we are doing it again. Harvey Norman's massive three-day floor stock clearance. This Thursday, Friday and Saturday only at your local Harvey Norman store. Floor stock will be reduced. Outgo lounges, dining suites, wall units, bedding and bedroom furniture, TVs, videos, stereos, fridges, freezers, rugs, computers and lots more. Save, save, save. Three big days only. And only at these Harvey Norman stores this Thursday, Friday and Saturday. You can't afford to miss it. He had the perfect life until. I've been in a coma for six years. Now, with a single touch, he sees what no one else can. I'm telling you, she's alive. They call that what, second sight or something like that? New drama. And you haven't named what happened to me yet. That's captured America's hearts. Do you have a family now, sir? I couldn't wait, Johnny. The Dead Zone comes to life 8 30 Monday. Survivor Thailand is full of surprises with two stunning dismissals. The tribe has spoken. Back to back, Survivor Thailand coming up next. Welcome back to This Is Your Life and the Mark Holden story. Mark, it's 1996 and you're 42 when you decide to leave Los Angeles after 16 years away. Having already lost your dad to cancer, you now feel it is time to return home. A year later, you and business partner Jack Strom discover a 15-year-old singing in a Russian restaurant. <laughs> you both instantly realise her potential and sign her up to your new management company. But at the time, even you don't realise the heights she'll achieve. Hey, Mark, you're not bad for an old dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's that same young girl you discovered. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Vanessa Amorosi and Jack Strom. Good partner. <laughs> So, Vanessa, what's it like working with him? A lot of fun. We call him the fire dragon. When there's anything that needs to be done and we are sort of getting... We don't intimidate them. We bring in the fire dragon and he goes, <laughs> Whoa! And they'll just do what they're told, which is great. <laughs> Including um, you? Well... Sometimes. 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 <laughs> it gives it a good shot. And, and had Jack and, and, and Mark not discovered you in that restaurant? Well, I'd be uh, still working there, singing, you know, Russian-themed things. And... He'd be in the army. Well, I'd be in the army as well. I'd be a lot of things, I reckon. The only things I was going to be. Yeah, yeah, very happy, very happy. Van Vanessa's brought so much to our lives, to all of our lives, really, because she's an inspiring talent. She really is. She's an incredible... She's, Anna keeps says, says to me all the time, you know what? She's such a good girl. <laughs> and she really is. She's got integrity. She works really hard. She's really inspiring. And we have a lot of crap that goes on in our life, don't we? I mean, yeah. we do. We have a lot of, a lot, a lot of travelling, a lot of tension and a lot of pressure. And, and Vanessa has never once let us down, has she, Jack? No, absolutely. She's never been fantastic. Yeah. And, and Jack, you and Mark go back a long way, don't you? We go back further than we really care to remember. I think it was about 28 years ago in this very studio I yeah, met right Mark. Here. Yeah, same studio. I was floor managing Showcase. He was a contestant. And then when he went overseas, we lost touch. And uh, in 1996, when he came back to Australia, in the same studio, he was a guest on Red Faces as a judge. And I was producing the segment. I told him about Vanessa. We were blown away by her. We formed a company and signed her. And now we're selling records in 50 countries. Yeah, it's fantastic, fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, isn't it? And I Mind couldn't it. have a better partner, honestly. <laughs> I really yeah. couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Vanessa, Jack, thank you for coming in. Good on you. Thanks.
Jack. Hey, hey, it's Jack Strong. Yes, <laughs> right. Mark, your career really has come full circle. In the 70s, you were a pop star, and later, you're discovering them. Another friend you've helped along the way is Knight Rider and Baywatch uh, star David news. Hasselhoff, who sends this. Okay, cool. G'day, mate, Mark. Ah. How are you, buddy? How's things down under? It's Hasselhoff here. Listen, pal, I'm sorry I can't be with you, but uh, we got a Baywatch movie coming up. We got a Knight Rider movie coming up. We're still uh, hitting it hard here, but uh, I just wanted to say one thing about uh, my friend Mark. Mark wrote me some major, major hits that were actually in English and in German, <laughs> and uh, I could take a chorus to a song and give it to Mark and within 24 hours he would have a song. So I named him the Music Doctor and one of our first patients, I don't know if you remember this, but I was at uh, on the set of Baywatch and I said I had this hook in my head, you can run, you can hide, you can cheat, you can lie, but you can't run away from me and you turned it into a song which went number one all over Europe and um, here's the guy to say hi who was uh, our star that we made together, but mostly you. Say hi to Jeremy Jackson, plays my son on Baywatch. Mark, what's up, buddy? <laughs> we love you, we miss you. Let's put some sauce on something together. Uh, my, my earliest memories are this guy and you throwing me out on stage in Fran Frankfurt in front of like 15,000 people feeding me my lines backstage. And anyway, since, crazy. Uh, since then, um, you left me here, and you left me <laughs> with another crazy person who's followed in your footsteps, and we're um, we're hey, doing okay hi. together. Yeah. Say hi to Wade. Hey, Mark, it's a dickhead. <laughs> How's it going, buddy? I have no recollection of you whatsoever. He's lost his hair. <laughs> you and Wade and I wrote this song a long time ago. It's a little bit dated, but since I can't be with you tonight, I thought we would like crank it out for you. Are uh, you want to hit that? Remember that part? When you're looking at me in the mirror, tell me what you see. Give me something real, girl. Give me something I can hold on to. Step into the real world of my true love. Cause this heart needs much more than a fantasy. Let's see if you remember it. Ready? Come on. <laughs> 15 hours, baby. <laughs> Only for you. I, I Only can't for believe you. that you came over here. I love you, man. That's fantastic. This guy wrote me some big hits. I can't believe that you did that. There's why a line hoit not. I remember one line of that. There's why a line hoit not. How the rest of go? He was gloves to was here grad mocked. I think it means my pig is gay or something. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought we'd see you back in Australia, I've got to be honest, mate. not after the last lot. <laughs> yeah, I know, they threw us out of Avalon, but what can I say? <laughs> How did you guys oh first meet? God. Oh, God. We met in uh, Peter Lopez's office. Yeah, he was uh, with the same attorney I had, and uh, we sat down and we talked, and... And he, he said, was, he, you were in... Um, I was on the Young and the Restless. Huh? I played a, a doctor on the Young and the Restless about the same time he was in the Young Doctors, and we had the same hair! <laughs> We look alike! Oh, well, we did look alike. You're the tallest man in show business. Uh, you're the best writer and the best friend uh, in show business. Oh, you're great. Tell you, I can't believe you've come over here. That's yeah. fantastic. How long are you here for, David? How long are you staying with us? I don't know. I don't know. If just a few days, I've got to get back, you know. But uh, the most amazing thing is a lot of people come down to the set to visit me from Australia. And I, every time they're, hello, I'm from Australia. I say, do you know some guy named Mark Holden who sings about the carnation? Oh, yeah! <laughs> and everybody knows you. It's remember, so remember in... Um, um, remember in New York that time, and we went into that little camera store. Oh yeah! <laughs> and and everybody, and wherever he goes, wherever you are, everybody knows you. And we walked into this camera store in in, in New York, and you said to the guy, "Yeah, and this is the, this is my friend Mark. He used to be small in a very small country a very long time ago for a very short time." No, I said. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, yeah, I know him. <laughs> anyway, it's a pleasure to be here, man. Oh, Thank it's going to be a long night. That's right, baby. That's right. All right. Thanks, David. Thank you. Cheers.
Mark, what a gifted all-rounder you are. I can't believe this. This is amazing. Singer, songwriter, actor, star maker and manager. And you've worked with some of the biggest names in the world and still remain as unaffected throughout. Now, of course, there's only one way to end a show like yours tonight. No. <laughs> and that would be with a song. Oh, my goodness. And we would ask you <laughs> to join the band. <laughs> Have we got any carnations? Where's those carnations? Let me grab those carnations. If you've ever been lonely, then you'll understand why I treasure every smile. Sure. My voice is a lot lower than it used to be when I was 22. But I'm still going to be David, g'day! <laughs> I'm going to get away without singing this song by giving away carnations to everybody. <laughs> Lady, I'll look. Could you hold this mic for me? Lady, if you give it a try. It works 25 years ago. Let's see if it works tonight.